Oh, finally, finally, and finally, we have our banner lord. We can play our banner lord. For fuck's sake, after eight years, we are finally able to play this game in single mode. Ah, I got old waiting for this game. Let's go with the campaign. Yeah, first we need to choose our character culture. There are six nations here and they have their unique bonuses. Uh, I want to choose Volandians because they have 200% more upgrade XP to troops from battles. Because I want to be a military guy. Stargians have 200% less speed penalty from snow. Empire has 20% construction speed bonus to town object, town projects, wall repairs and siege engines. And Asrai have caravans are third percentage cheaper to build and 10% less trade penalty. And Kuzades, of course, they have 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on campaign map. And Batanians have forest bonus in which they give you 10% less paid penalty. Let's go with the Vlandians. Yeah, car character customization menu has more details than Warband. You can choose these details. But I don't want to spend time here. So I want to randomize. Oh uh, yeah, that is me in university too. <laughs> Let's go with this guy. But he's a bit short. And there's a skin color. Voice pitch. Infantry! Victory! We won! Lloyd formation! Form a line! Form the line! Yeah, he should be sounding like a beer. A true warrior. Let's put a mark on our face. This is it. This is Anakin Skywalker. Next. In, War in Banner Lord, we choose a family. And it will affect our skills points here. So, I want these two skill points to increase that is why I will go with this one or this one yeah but this has the riding skill point so let's choose this one where the cutie you are early childhood as a child you were noted for or what Hmm. Let's choose this. We are strong from the beginning. Adolescence. This one should work. And yet, trying with the cavalry, of course. This will be my choice. Young adulthood. What we have done. What was our biggest achievement. Let's go with this one. We defeated an enemy in battle. Story background. Like many families in Kaldradia, your life was appended by war. Your home was ravaged by time by the passage of army after after why I cannot read this. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after after army after army. Eventually you should eventually you sold your like many families in Kadradia, your life was appended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, 
brother, brother and your two younger siblings to a new town you would hear you would heard was safer, but you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two younger siblings sized. But you and your brother survived because... Because we fucking do the raider, of course. Name. Of course, I will go with my warman name. The Walke. Just the difficulty. Not realistic, not very easy. Let's choose easy. Enable that, yeah. In Warband we couldn't kill the generals and famous people. Now we are able. Let's do not enable this. We can give the points for ourselves. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we are getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Warwick and Alda? Are we up for a fight? Hmm. It says us to train here. Let's check out the training area. And we have swords, cavalry, I mean trainings with the archery the javelin let's do one of these trainings each and let's go to outer world to save our two siblings and in banner lord i am bad with the javelins in multiplayer, I couldn't kill a single one with a javelin. The feeling is much different from Warband. This is what I see. Let's call the sword challenge. Hi, trainer. Two guys here. Let's fight with them. Talk. No, the fight is starting in one second. A quick start. We beat the rook here. There's a veteran here. Are you sure you are a veteran man? Yeah, this veteran guy also cannot do a shit or multiplayer tactic. And let's make a horse training. Then head out. Lord, I didn't like the horse riding because, as I said before, horse is like skating, ice skating. It feels so slippery, it's very hard to control the horse. It's like we are riding a truck.
I hope I get to, used to that feeling because the cavalry is the is my favorite and then all of multiplayer also like Warband. And a long parkour this is by Roche this way <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here I'm ready yeah quickly you Brother, before we do anything else, we are low on food. There is a village in north of here where we can buy provisions and find some help. You are a better rider than I am, so I will let you lead the way. So we will go here with Tevea village. Leave and go to Tevea. Let's look at the map. Wow, what a beauty, what a beauty. Of course, Crusades on the east, the Storgans on north, the Wallandians and Batanians on west, Empire on center, and the Asarai on the south. Has one Morinon. Can you talk it from here? Oh, this feature is disabled. Take a walk around. We are here, I guess so. We need food and after that maybe some men come with us. The headman here can probably help us. Let's try to find out. Find out. Let's try to find him. I cannot read without my glasses. Sorry for that. Hold lift. I alt K. Yeah, this K is working useful in siege battles too in multiplayer. It's a new feature. It's a good feature. In warband, sometimes you cannot find the uh, headman in villages. I thought this well. What? He says recruit troops and buy something from your village. Recruit troops. 346 guy? Are you kidding? Whatever. Buy the products. Yeah, we should buy the grain. It shows you in a uh, yellow square here. Let's buy three of it. There's a wool and sheep. I don't want to buy them. Yeah, you will pay 51. We finished our preparations, let's talk to the headman again. He said he may have a task for us, we could use his friendship. We can talk from you. Glad to see you found what you needed to know about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time. The name of Tactus trades people for free. Wow, we're fond of him. Mm. Yeah, we need to find him. He's missing.
so it says leave and yeah there are raiders around and we should attack them yeah and we have a warning here yeah, we have some points spent let's spend on polyarm just clicking this plus attack the raiders eight against six go Let's press F2 to follow. The enemies are ahead. One down. Come here, bitch. Can I get some space? Guys. Two down. Are we finished? Yeah. Let's take them as a prisoner. We'll sell them later, of course. And there's an armed guard, which I don't have. Old fur armor. Body armor 7. Yeah, it shows what we have got in order to compare them easier. That's weird, this. Wow. Let's attack the second party of raiders. Let's go, my man. After me. One is down. Guys are literally useless. Yeah, nice. He lost his horse. At least kill him. Yeah, you got your horse's revenge. We can fill the prisoners, send them after. We have a mobbed club. Our sword is pretty good. Let's beat the shit out of the latest last group. Close. 
one down again. The first kill is always mine. What are you doing, guys? Let's try our sword. Done already? Accelerators. One staggers to his feet and comes over to you. Who the fuck is that? I don't know who you are, but I'm in your depth. These brigands will then march us to our deaths. Tatias, this name? That we should save? Yeah. yeah. We done the job. He doesn't know the whereabouts of our siblings. But the new mission quest is find Radagas' hideouts and it is ahead of us let's go and kill the bastard attack yeah we are into the hideout let's find the bastards and kill them Say charge, guys, charge. Go and do your jobs, guys. I will I will read my book here. I will sit and take drink my coffee. Nice, one is down. Second. This hideout uh, quest, you should tell them to charge, man. If you tell them to charge, they will find and kill all the guys, and you won't spend your time searching for them. You don't have a horse here in hideout missions. And as you can see in the beginning of the game, uh, your skills are not. Not high, so you will run and walk slow comparing to your companions. Are we done? What? Oh, this is the bastard Radagos. Let's go. So always this that comes through my place of business and killing my employees. You fucking sold my siblings to a slave market? You're fucking dead, idiot. And he wants a duel. Let's duel. Die fucking bastard. This is for my siblings. Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captain, let me introduce myself. I am Radagos. Nice to meet you, bastard. We haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. 
I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more than more to you alive than Oh, you'll need my help, alright, if you want to get them back alive, that is... See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there is a rescue attempt. Hmm, shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some water, some river, that's it for your little odd dears. I don't expect a cozy palanquin now, but you would best not make it too hard a trip for me. That's it guys for our first impressions on single player campaign. I'm pretty much hyped for the single player but I don't know I will continue. If you want I will do a single player series for you. But if you don't I want to continue in multiplayer. See you guys later. Have a nice day.